facts as well. But the fact now is Arsenal are six. So you lot start counting your days. How long are you going to last it? And also, another fact is that Viva got a new video out today. Come on! <laughs> it's way out. be... It's like, like, that, like that, like that. Yes. Yeah, six like that. Like, you lot, check out the video. It's hard. I'm enjoying it, though. Yeah? Oh, you would I'm a Spurs fan, like, man. This is like, oof. For me, this is like, you know like when your bridging used to go out back in the day and he's buff? You and him used to go out and he used to get all the girls. And then literally one night he's picking, what, what are you trying to say? Whoa, bro, I didn't ever look at my no, bridging. No, but I had one bridging. I didn't ever look at my bridging and say, yo, I think you're buff. man's looking buff today. What? I didn't think it was going to be you lot that kind of sacrificed your spot for Manchester United to come out of six. Yeah, I heard that, um, I heard that United ain't six no more. Who's six, bro? Arsenal. Oh, right. What? Arsenal what? Paul, my nigga, hey, it had to be you, man, cuz. He said, you like got the abuse from the six, like. You, you, how, how do you feel about um, replacing we need, us? We need more life, though. <laughs> <laughs> Arsene Wenger, he's been bad for a little while now. Little decisions he's making ain't been right. So for me, I think he, he, shouldn't, he should go. But I also think, um, either way, he's got to let the people know now, man. He yeah. went for 133 days, Specs. Do you know how long that is? <sighs> it's the banners, isn't it? It's the banners. It's the banners, it's the fans. We're all to blame, that's why we're six, man. Did you join in the jokes, the sixth jokes of no. Manchester United? You're a liar. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Actually, I did, I did, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. You I did. joined in, innit? I did, but, but they didn't have that. There was no banners. <sighs> After all the jokes, I'm the joke. There's no point in me even trying to attack Bolt about his treatment. Nothing I say that is remotely funny is making the edit. Do you know why? Because today, it's about how shit I am. Do you know what? I didn't want Leon today. I didn't want Leon today. Because Leon's been humble. I wanted a poet. I wanted a specs. I wanted someone that's been chatting shit. Because I can't lie, when I we were talking about sixth, Leon was like, do you know what? Them men are sixth, but they are going and beating Frankel Peace. So it's going to be a matter of time before they climb up. He saw the vision. Poet didn't see the vision. That's why he wears glasses. I don't think they're not playing for the manager because they must still love Arsene, man. Come on, how can you not love know, the bro, fella? Um, listen, I'm a supporter anyway, so I'm fully on. Is that so? When you're in, I'm a supporter of it, so I've got to support it. You know what I mean? Poet's a coward. He's always been a coward, and he's a liar. So those two ingredients right there is a recipe for someone I don't really trust. When it comes to football, I don't have any. I don't listen to anything he says because he always goes back on his word. Hacked writing on his clothes. That's something I done when I was five years old. Do you know what? At the end of the day, everyone, you can laugh at my downfall. But the beautiful thing about this, in life, I still do better than you lot. So my team is shit, and I accept that. And you can laugh for this half an hour or whatever you spend in this room with all the fellas. But in life, you lot are below me. So this is what happens, because you lot don't know poet like I do. When there's something <laughs> wrong, deeply wrong with him, he will attack your character. So a man will talk about life, about his money, about anything in life that is not football. Where's Coplock now? Nothing. Nowhere. He's doing shit, bro. It's absolutely uh, terrible. Uh, oh, you need to allow it, cuz. You, fam, seriously, on a level, cuz. There's too many fucking players that you fucking stuck up for. That is fucking. Man's all here like, I like to Jacka. I like to Jacka. What the fuck is Jacka <laughs> doing, bro? Jacka don't even like to Jacka. I didn't expect it from Leon and Poet only because I thought, you know what, them man are diehard fans, but the fact that it's got to them too. <laughs> then there is a real problem. You know, and everywhere is just Arsenal news now, so I think you can't get away from it. We're talking about bitching right now. Your fans are bitching, your fans acting like a circus, right, and you're fans, fighting with each other. Right. You're, not, you're not disunited yeah. for flying fucking banners over a stadium, and yeah. then you flew two over a stadium. Yeah, I don't agree with that, though. Paul called us an embarrassment. Did Paul I? said... Yeah. Paul said... When the... I, you know what I've got? I've got the screenshots, big man. When they flew the... It's easy to say these things now, but... Carry on. It's easy to say these things now. No, I have proof, big man. I've got the proof in my... You know me, I keep screenshots for years. Paul said, and I repeat, sorry, I quote, your club is an embarrassment. What was the, what was the um, hashtag, Paul? Hashtag D-O, D-O-M, death of Manchester. That's what was happening, you know, when we were flying helicopters, helicopters, no, I playing over the um, Old Trafford talking about Moyes out and whatnot. Now it's Wenger's turn. I don't want to come <laughs> They're confused. You had one banner fly over and said, in Arsenal we trust. And the other one was no contract. No, no contract. Right. Wenger out. You, 
mate, the cl- it's like civil war at Arsenal right now. The six jokes, I'll accept it now. We're six. But we, you and I know, Arsenal not finishing there. I don't think you're going to finish there. Where are we going to finish? It, what, it, based on right now. No, I don't think you're getting top four right now. If I had to say it right now, I'd basically. You said this right last now. year. I did. No, I never said you weren't getting top four. I just thought Tottenham were going to finish above you. Are you saying, were you one of them fans, Paul? Them men that are just about when you are doing well. I don't know if I can actually dispart about that because I actually know the truth. Like, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a bad relationship between you and Arsenal. I they, see they, some fans talking, oh, Paul, you don't go to games. You know what? Suck him, mum. I'll say it to your face as well. Let me tell you not the truth, yeah? You pricks. Man, a fucking adult. I've been out here. I, I purchased a JVC Arsenal top. You lot didn't even purchase a Dreamcast Arsenal top. Paul is just a loser, fam. It's a fucking loser, blood. He come in here chatting about new Arsenal. Come in here talking about six, 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 busting up, chatting crap. So I'm saying Leon was humble, but Paul was chatting shit about uh, being sick. You know what it is? There's, 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 there's two kind of supporters. There's a supporter that knows football, and then there's the fan. So you saying Paul's a fan? He's a fan. Ross. Let's take a look at my life from I July to now. Talk to me, Paul. Kicked out a Tiny Tempest party. Mm-hmm. Believed Arsenal would do something. Very now much. look at them. Kicked out a Tiny Tempest again. party again. <laughs> Believe <laughs> Arsenal would do something. It's just You'd a vicious the, cycle. The cycle's mad. A vicious cycle. <laughs> Wenger, as I say, 16 years, longer, consistently got you in the Champions League. Now listen, people will say, oh, we don't want to consistently finish fourth. You try and spend the extra money and try and win the league and then finish sixth, then you soon see bad season. You know what I mean? So I rate that. You know Man what I mean? Like, spending two fifty at like two hundred fifty million and finishing like second or third and that's like, not that's, classified yeah, as a man. crisis. So then what's gonna happen? Say you finish outside the top four, <laughs> what's actually gonna happen? Wait, he has to stay. He has to stay and fix the mess. Uh, uh, if we finish fifth or sixth, you want him to stay if you finish fifth or sixth. One hundred percent. Wenger? No, no, he'd be part of the reason why you finished there. That, no, no, but he needs. Oh, so that's why he needs to solve it. Because if he finishes. If we finish 3 or 6, who's going to come in now? I was going to fucking Arsenal games when you could fucking. When the high breed. You lot haven't even been high. Don't fucking chat to me about. I am. The reason why I'm stressed right now is because this is a fucking abusive relationship. Someone's got to go. I don't blame these Arsenal fans. Do you know why? I'm tired of this shit, yeah? No one's going to agree with me, but fuck it. Arsene Wenger is a fucking fraud, bro. He's yes. a fraud. I agree. He, he's been at Arsenal for over two decades. He's won three league titles, three in two decades. There's no cap, there's not, not one thing in life where you get three out of 20 and, and you fucking celebrate. And it's not even 20, it's more than 20. He's won like five FA Cups. He's a fucking FA Cup merchant and he can't even do that properly. I would rather hear from Ty as an Arsenal fan instead of Specs. Leon or Poet. The poets, he's a very, um, and Leon, they're very big personalities and. And, uh, and it's hard to talk to them because they just literally will just dead it off. No, not even. Uh, it's about like who I'd want to hear from. Like, mm. it's just them, man, that's, they're too, they're, they're wild. They're too wild. And they say shit and I don't think, I don't even think they know what they're saying at the time, to be honest with you. I would rather hear from Poet about Arsenal. So when he slaps his face on the floor, I get to laugh. I would rather hear from Specs about Arsenal. Do you know what? I wouldn't rather hear from Specs about Arsenal. I bet Paul came on here saying, oh, the Drake's album album's really good. No, look, Paul just went on Twitter. I saw people talking about the Drake album. He probably doesn't even listen to it yet. And then when I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a great album, man. Like, it might not be his best work, but yeah, man, Drake's the best, man. Fam, they treated gigs like Ryan when they found out he was fucking his bro- mm. brother's gal for how many years, fam? Nasty. The wrong gigs. You don't chat to gigs like that. It's, they were making bear jokes. They were killing him. Gigs must have felt like an Arsenal fan. We've got our own style. And for some reason, we just adopt everything Americans do. So if, if, if Uzi Vert or one of them or Migos or whatever, come out with something. And let's be honest, it's not lyrically great. We like the vibe, so we just get it. We adopt it, because hip-hop's theirs. But see, when we've got our own style and our own thing going on, they just don't want to fuck with it. It is. It's fully disrespecting our kings. And you touched on it as well, when you got annoyed about the Samuel Jackson comment with regards to the kid in Get Out. Same sort of scenario, like I said, the Yanks, there's just so... everything, Anything that's done in America and that's out in America has to be done by an American. They don't like it to be by anyone else. If gigs is the same colour as Drake, yeah, and yeah, 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 doing them songs, like, these guys will jump on it. Soon as I they like see gigs, gigs, soon as they see gigs, they look at him, they see mash up hairline bull patch, think, yeah, that's it. Black guy now, I'm gonna on it. Ah, <laughs> uh, his verse is rubbish. <laughs> they see long jackets, his verse is rubbish. Do you know what? If Drake released an album 
full of instrumentals and no vocals. If he Mitch would still find a fantastic quote. He would actually. <laughs> that, bar, that bar was sick. What did he say? Let's press play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could see what he would have said on that, though. <laughs> All right. I could see what he would have said on that. That's why Drake's a genius. He could have released a silent a silent CD and Mitch would rate him. Mitch, you need to release yourself from his penis. Oh, this guy and Drake, man. What? He's your god. Like, he's, uh, he's like, he, it's a religion for you, kind of thing. That's what I think uh, it is with you. You love this guy yeah. too much. Yeah. Even if he's got a dead verse, to you, when I told you oh, the verse yeah. is dead, yeah? Like, what? Give me an example. Can, what what verse is dead? What verse is dead? I saw Craig Mitch. Snapchat. Yes. Shirt off. Hat back. In, in some closet. Bare shoes. Right, yeah. so man was in the closet. Is he well, at? In the closet, cut. Um, yeah, man was. Very positive. I don't think Craig would say a bad word about Drake. Well, it's not the point. It's the fact that he's been on, um, he's been on this app or something where it gets all the lyrics, and he's been like, "Oh, he's been trying to." Oh, bro, he's been breaking down every Drake bar, um, Drake bar, every gigs bar. It's like that don't make sense. Oh, but look at this though. The way that Drake said this on Passionate Fruit or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, Passionate Fruit. Passionate. Whatever, man. (laughs) Honestly, like Drake is feeling it, bro. You ah, bro. Drake had a party on Saturday. Guess who wasn't there? Bitch. So Canada. Right, so all of Drake's taxes are going to the Queen. I read yeah, that. That's why, that's why he's on this thing. You get I read that. That's why he's coming over here because he's like, yo, my money's going to you, so I might as well come and be an acquaintance. The man are over here, hold tight the Queen, though. She don't do nothing, but she makes money. Hold tight, Elizabeth, you get me? Elizabeth the Queen. God save me. Nah, no, nah. God save me, bro. Okay.